Hi guys, I'm Rival. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about enforcing coding standards with PHP Code Sniffer. So introduction. There are multiple ways to complete a project. The language you use, your code style, and even your syntax can vary. A massive variety in options leads to wildly different code bases. So why is this a problem? So think about your programming values, efficiency, maintainability, and stability. Consider a bespoke project that was written by one developer. Now think about it. Do you think that he will, every single developer in the world is efficient, building projects that are easy to maintain? No, not everyone does that. So let's consider someone who doesn't. Now think of this project. It's created with no best practices in mind as well. And now imagine another developer is introduced to it and he can introduce his style of coding. Now this leads to a massive mess of code. So are there any solutions out there? Yes, the community has come up with many solutions. We have frameworks, defined coding standards, linting tools, and Git hooks. So you should be open to adopting most of these at some stage in your career. As usual, this depends on your project though. So it is more important for projects with multiple developers to have these coding standards, to have these linting tools and Git hooks running. But when it comes to smaller, short lifespan projects with maybe only one developer, maybe an exception can be made. So adopting a coding standard. The PHP community have their own coding standards named PSR, PHP Standard Recommendation. Now current day developers strive to follow these standards. PSR1 and PSR2 lay out rules for you to follow. This can be hard to adopt at first and difficult to enforce. And why? Because if you're working in a team, you may tell your team, look, we're going to start doing PSR1 and PSR2 from today. You will tr strive to do it. Maybe someone on the team might not want to do it, may get lazy. We're all humans, we can make mistakes. So how do you go about enforcing these standards? Enter PHP Code Sniffer. PHP Code Sniffer is a development tool. It aids you to produce clean and neat code. It has two abilities. It detects violations of your defined coding standard and it automatically corrects these violations. This tool can be considered essential to the modern day developer. So if you want your team to follow PSR2 standards for as an example, PHP Code Sniffer can help you do that. So let's see how we can use it. Okay guys, so let's take a look at Code Sniffer. Now I'm going to use, or I've already used Composer to install Code Sniffer for me. So let's take a look at my composer.json on line 9 here. You can see I have Squiz Labs PHP Code Sniffer and that is in the required dev section. So to get PHP Code Sniffer, all you have to do is run a Composer install command and you'll get your code into your vendor folder as normal. Now let's take a look at this in the terminal. So I'm already in my project here and what we want to do is go to vendor bin and we want to do php cs. Now if we hit enter on that, we are presented with all the help um, information and we can see we have do not print warnings, print both warnings and errors and I think there's a color option here as well. So let's try it out. Clear that for you. Go back to vendor bin PHP CS. Then what we want to do is I have one file in a source directory and that is the file I actually want to run code sniffer on. So what I can do is go to source. I can type the file out or I can use directory. As you know, there's just one file. So I don't have to do the actual file. I can just do it on the directory. And then I want to use colors. Okay, let's hit enter. Now PHP code sniffer has gone to our file. It's found it csv.php and it says there's 25 errors and three warnings and it's shown us the list like underlying characters invalid, missing package tag, etc, etc. Now this is just um, PHP code sniffer running on its own default configuration. I'm a PHP developer, so I want to follow PSR2 standards. So what we can do is we can use a configuration file for PHP code sniffer. We can keep adding additions to that file, but 
I like to use my IDE PHP Storm as much as I possibly can and come to the terminal as less often as possible. So let's go back to Storm. And um, by the way, this is just my preference. You can feel free to use it via the terminal. But for me personally, I like to use it with PHP Storm. Now to get PHP Code Sniffer working, what you need to do is go to File Settings and you need to find Languages and Frameworks. You can go down to PHP and then Code Sniffer. Now I already have it configured, but I can show you how I did that. I'm going to click the three dots and then I create a new configuration called Local. Click three dots here again and I've gone to my project, CSV Processor, I've gone to Vendor, bin and I found my phpcs.bat file. Click OK. You can click validate. So just to be 100% sure that it does work, click OK. And now what you need to do is go on to inspections because you want to, so it's under editor inspections and because you want PHP Storm to actually define a coding standard. So you have PHP code sniffer validation, which by the way is under PHP. Scroll down. And you'll find it by PHP code sniffer validation. So what you want to do is severity. I want to keep it as an error because I don't want to be breaking coding standards. I then have coding standard already defined as PSR2. Notice there's quite a few others. Then click OK. So now let's go to our CSV file. Let's see if you can take a look. And that's about right. So let's try and break PSR2 coding standards. Now we know that 120 characters is the limit for our line and uh, according to PSR2. Now we can just go like that to break PSR2 standards and notice now that we have a highlighted line indicating that we are actually breaking the standards we defined. Now this is really good for developing because it forces you, or not for, it doesn't really force you, but it notifies you straight away that look, there's an issue. So we can bring it back down and great, it's happy with that. Of course there's a lot of typos here and that's fine for now. Get rid of that. So that's one of the ways it's very helpful. So if you went to the terminal and ran it, you wouldn't be really getting that benefit. But now let's try and do mimic the terminal. Now let's try to mimic the terminal output using PHP Storm. We'll go to code and then go down to inspect code. And we'll do it for this file only. Click OK. And it brings up this drawer which has our errors. So we have some typos, which is just my name and get CSV, that's okay. We can go to error. So those are obviously the important ones. It says it's PHP error, uh, code sniffer says csv.php. You can see it actually shows us the file here. It shows us, sh it shows us what is wrong. It says um, PSR2 files, end file, new line, none found. So expected one new line at the end of the file. So all we can do is, can we do it here? No, nope. but what we can do is double click it. There we go. It takes us right to the line that has the error. Just bring this drawer down. All we have to do is create a new line. And over here, we can rerun the inspection. And that is brilliant. Now we have no errors. We just have some typos. So that's how you can use it. So what you can do to enforce this now is use a Git hook, which would run PHP code sniffer. Now I've spoken about Git hooks in a previous video. Check the link in the description below. You should be able to find it. But also even with PHP Storm, if you go to, I think it's Control and K. So it brings up our commit dialog and we have perform code analysis and check to do. So these sort of things are similar to Git hooks and if it's checked, it's going to run these things first and it'll prevent you from committing bad code. So that's how you can set up PHP Code Sniffer. That's how you can use it as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and please remember to hit that like and subscribe button.